This is kind of an old uh, heater, heating pad. I love using these heating pads. You see, so it's got this thing here that you can choose the settings. You see, you can go uh, low, you can turn it off, this is off. Then you have here low, medium, and high. Okay, and then uh, you could unscrew it and see. So what's happening here? When I'm putting it uh, low, the, it doesn't heat as much and when I, as when I put it high. So what's changing in the setting when I'm going from um, when I'm going from a lower setting to a higher setting, uh, what's changing? Why is it that this heats more? Why is it that this heats the pad more and it makes it hotter? So here, what, what equation should we use to kind of conceive of this? Have you guys seen these heating pads? Have you guys ever use it? It's nice, actually. You can put it on your shoulder when you're feeling pain in the shoulder head. Um, so it's kind of like this equation, right? So the heating pad is this thing, you see? So imagine this is the heating pad, and you connect it to your 120 volt, and then, uh, so depending on what resistance I do here, I lose more or less power, right? So if I go to, if I go from lower setting to higher setting, it, which one is the, the resistance is changing, right? So what's happening to the resistance? On the low setting, is the resistance low or is the resistance high? If you look at this equation, the, the, bit, the tricky part of this is, it, it is this. If you look at this equation, it says, oh, the make the resistance higher so that for a given current, you have more power loss. So to make the resistance higher, then you're gonna make the heat produced in the resistor more, you see? So one argument would be, oh, when I'm going from low to high, the resistance is going up to make the power loss in the resistor higher so it can heat up more. But then with the same token, I can argue, oh no, for a given voltage, make the resistance low. So then when I go from here to here, that argument would be make the resistance low so that for a given voltage, the power is high. Because the, ultimately we want a lot of power loss in the heating pad, right? So to make it heat up, you see? So which is it? Am I increasing the resistance when I'm going from low to high? Or am I decreasing the resistance? You get the dilemma that I'm creating? Which is it? Well, I guess we could, if no one is willing to answer, we could open this up. <laughs> okay, so this is the low setting. Oh, there is a diode here too, but I don't think that's, the diode allows current only to flow in this direction, this way, unidirectional. But I don't think that one is that. Uh, is, so this is medium setting. And this is the highest setting. So it's we're going from here to here to here. It looks like these are three wires that are in parallel. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Low setting. Oh, okay, when it's the low setting, it's connected to here, and it's connected to here. Okay, and then in the medium setting, it's connected to here, and then these two resistors. And then in the, the highest setting, it's connected to here and all the way to there. 
So, which argument are we going to use? I think here, here's the argument uh, from, the, from this point of view. Uh, for a given current, it is true, if there's a certain given current that we already know of, for that the higher the resistor, the more power loss. But then the current in the circuit depends on the resistance that you, that you use, depending on what battery you're using. So in this case, it's actually the battery voltage that's set. It's this that's set, and we're allowed to change the resistance of the circuit, right? So this is the one that's set, not so much the current that's set. So we should use this argument and say, Oh, the lower the resistance of the circuit, the more the power uh, loss in the resistor, you see. So I believe you are right. Yeah, Mila. So this, the less this is, because it's the voltage that's set by the power that we're plugging it in. So the less the resistor. So then by uh, engaging from here to here, I'm engaging more wires in parallel. Until I go all the way to here, there's three wires in parallel. I think the circuit probably looks something like this. It's a basic circuit. It's almost like something like this. You see, which, which takes us to the next topic of resistors in parallel and series, right? So in here, when I engage the lowest setting, I'm like disconnecting this. This is disconnected in the lowest setting. So lowest setting of the heater, heating pad. So then these two are disconnected and then the current comes this way, right? And so basically in that case, it's just gonna be, power is gonna be uh, voltage, this is the voltage, voltage squared over R1. Okay, so then when I go to the middle setting, you are engaging the second wire in parallel, you see. And then when I'm going to the highest setting, you're closing that, and then you're closing this too. You're engaging the third wire. So each time you're doing it, you're create you're engaging more wires in parallel. Then what's that doing? It's decreasing the resistance of the circuit. So let's see how do wires add up in um, how do wires add up in how do resistors add up in parallel and series. So the, it ends up that they add up opposite to how capacitors add up in parallel and series, right? So remember the argument that in parallel, the voltages are the same. That's still true even for, even for capacitors, that's true. And then, um, the current is what adds up. So what happens when you engage more uh, resistors, then the total current comes and splits into I1 and I2. So the current add, keeps adding. Right? The more resistors you engage. So then you're gonna say I total is V total over R total. I1 is V1 over R1. I2 is V2 over R2. V3 over R3. Okay. And uh, then you're going to argue that the voltages are the same. And there you have it. So resistors in, C in uh, parallel 
add up like capacitors in series. So add up similar to capacitors in series. So then what happens here if all three resistors are the same, if all three wires have the same length? Uh, I believe there is also in this circuit, there's also this one. You see here, what is that? Well, that's an external resistor that they placed here so that to limit the amount of current so that you don't burn in any wires. I think that's, that's probably what it is, an external resistor. The best way to do this is to even take this out and see really everything inside. That's how you really learn. Um, yeah, so there's an external resistor, and then depending on which one you engage, you either engage this one or you engage two of them, but this is always engaged. You can say. So let's just say that that wasn't there for a second. Then you would say, if, uh, if only this resistor is engaged, this would be the power that you can draw from the, the source, and that's how much that would heat up. Two of them are engaged, then what happens? The net resistance would be what? One over R plus one over R. Let's assume all three of them are the same resistors, right? So then you have here two over R, and then R total would be R over two, right? Then what happens? The total power, the total power would be V squared over. So the net resistance drops by half, right? And therefore, 2V squared over R. Now you're drawing more power from that source, twice more power. It's gonna, the heating pad is gonna get twice as hot, you see? But because of this external resistance, it's probably not gonna be exactly twice, um, right? And then the, if you draw the next one, then it's gonna be R over three, you see? So you're gonna draw three times the power, right? And then all three are going inside of the heating pad, eventually, all these wires. So of course, the more that you're engaging, all that power that's being lost, it's going into the coils of the heating pad, and uh, they're all warming you up. If I engage all three of them, it sometimes even burns, you know, my skin. So I don't, I usually just do one or two. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, so then we have the how to see the, uh, how the resistors add up in series. Okay, how, uh, no, I mean the parallel, and then how about series? For series, we have the be like this. So now the voltages add up. Okay, B e total, and then we're gonna say I total is I1, um, the currents at, uh, no, the currents actually are equal. I total is equal to I1, which equals to I2, which equals I3. So the same current flows through the circuits that are in um, series to each other. Okay, and then you're gonna have here, uh, we're gonna say V total is gonna be I total, R total, V1 is going to be I1, R1, V2 is going to be I2, R2, V3 is going to be I3, R3, and then so on. And then the I will cancel. And then R total is going to be R1 plus R2 plus that, 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 that. 
आर्थ हो ठीक है 